welcome to the Better Things Studio. It is so great to be back to give you some more DIY tips and tricks. Today, I want to like do this tutorial that I've been promising to do for like, I'm sure it's over a year now. Um, and yeah, it's one of those things. It's a, I've done it before. I've done it for myself. Um, and people really liked it and wanted me to kind of do, show them how to make it done. Now, the only thing is trying to find a way that everyone can kind of, um, get the thing done or, uh, or so or do the DIY because I try to make my DIYs as um, like doable like you need to be you need to have access to the things you need to have access to freaking uh, pins and needles and certain fabrics and stuff so I don't try to like go too far with it just so that everyone can be included and everyone can try their hand at DIYing um, the easier the better. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make this amazing two-piece that I've tried out with an oversized shirt. Um, yeah, listen, I really like this. I tried it the first time. It looked very amazing. I learned from my mistakes and now I'm going to show you guys the ultimate way that you can make it. Um, and then there are some things that um, I kind of cheated on within like in my tutorial but um as we go further with the tutorial and the video as you continue watching you will understand why okay so before i get started um just don't forget if you like this video like like the video comment below if you have any questions but also keep in touch on the socials if you really want to do this tutorial and you're struggling with anything i'm always more than happy to help you we can do like a facetime a zoom and stuff and i can help you out get you sorted with your diy but just because there's lockdown does not mean that we are not going to be hopeful and make outfits available and try to still look cute even if it's in the house even if it's just for snaps we are doing this and we're going to do it together so without further ado let us get to this two-piece diy okay so what you're going to need for this project is a mini skirt that fits you very well lengthwise some thread pins and needles an elastic the thinner the better and a pair of scissors what you're going to want to do is find an oversized shirt a double xl will do very well especially just so that you have allowance for mistakes what you're going to do is you're going to take your pins and you're just going to pin the shirt down just so that both sides don't move um, while you do the cutting while you do the um, the measuring and all of that stuff so we're just pinning down the the two sides of the shirt okay so now what we're going to want to do is you're going to take your mini skirt and you're going to align it to the bottom of the extra large shirt the larger the shirt the better only because you can make mistakes and um, you'll have allowance fabric wise for the mistakes that you make the smaller your shirt the more you have to just be perfect and very careful about it so i really suggest you get a big shirt what you see me doing is taking um the pins and i'm just pinning down along the top of the skirt um, the line on my shirt that I'm going to cut to get the bottom part of the, um, the two piece as you can see I'm using pins but you can actually just use a pencil or a piece of chalk to kind of get the line um, yeah just a better pronounced line as you can see I then went and got a piece of chalk and drew the line just so that we are more careful and we can get this done really well what i also do is i do a finger space line away from the initial line and i'll tell you why this is because i want to have allowance um so that when i do because we're going to do a folding um and so a folded space for our elastic so we really need um some extra space and um this finger space is going to give us just that and now for the fun bit what we're going to do is we're going to cut our line uh, be careful because whatever you cut in the front of the shirt needs to be what you cut in the back of the shirt and this is why we initially pinned it down so as you can see i'm just going carefully and i'm cutting along the second line that i've made okay so now what we're gonna do is unbutton this part of the shirt that we're working on and this is so that we can have like a longer length view because we want to work with it open it's just going to be easier to do and then what you're going to do is you're going to measure your elastic 
and you kind of going to we're going to create a fold on this piece of fabric as you can see in the video i create a fold at the edge of this fabric the same size as the elastic and this is because once we're done sewing we have to slot the elastic in this little gap that we've created so that's what you're going to do Also, don't forget that you have to work on the inside of this fabric because obviously this is the neatest way to do it. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll take my pins and I'll kind of um, complete this process along the whole top of the, the, the skirt. Um, basically doing the fold along the whole top of the skirt and using my pins to pin it down so that I can have this fold don't forget that we're doing this on the inside of the fabric because we don't want it to show on the outside when we're wearing it Okay, so this is the part where I was telling you that I cheated. I used the sewing machine to sew across um, this line and this is just because it was just a time thing for me. But um, you're obviously going to pick which adhesive method you prefer, uh, either hand sewing and I've left my hand sew tutorial um, in the bio or you're going to use fabric glue and if you are going to use fabric glue don't forget that sometimes fabric glue doesn't work for all fabrics so just be careful to kind of test on a small piece of fabric okay so now that i'm back what i'm going to do it's obviously i'll do it in line with you guys but i'm going to go ahead and kind of put in an elastic in the gap and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my elastic and I'm going to take a safety pin, preferably one that fits nicely and one that actually works because if it doesn't then it sucks. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and put it in and start the trick down this, um, this alleyway we've created um, from sewing. Obviously I used a sewing machine so there's that but... Um, just make sure that whatever you have used, either your sewing is secure, which obviously don't worry because I'm going to be teaching you that, but just make sure that if you're sewing, your sewing is secure and if you're not sewing and you're sticking maybe with glue, then that your glue has completely dried before you do this because I feel like um, this really does take... Um, don't mind my screen I just have to make sure that I'm always going or else you find that my phone just like randomly switches off and then well <sighs> awkward because then I think I was shooting but I wasn't so if you've got a double view then you can just make sure that what you're doing is right and all you're gonna do is what's gonna happen is it's gonna start doing this which is beautiful um, I think it also depends on what material you are going to be using um, also just be sure to secure this end so that it doesn't kind of fly out after all your hard work so I'm just gonna finish doing that and then when I'm done we're gonna kind of alter the elastic so that it fits around um, your waist because I think this might be high-waisted So now that I'm finished kind of um, Getting this through it will should look something like this and this is where your waist is obviously going to sit um, please like try and Think about doing everything as neatly as possible because it just helps with regards to like How when at the end of the whole process you can just like 
not have too much going on so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my safety pin and i'm just going to pin like this area down and i'm going to do this because i'm going to pull from the other side and i really just don't want this thing going through again it's the same thing with like a sweater or like you know your your track pants where it's just like a mess when you lose your you know those string thingies so yeah, so now what I'm going to do is obviously the side is controlled by um, the safety pin. I'm just going to go ahead and I kind of pull a little, little by little, little by little. Also watching that this side doesn't get stuck inside because that would be a whole mess. If it does, all you need to do is start again. <laughs> just take it out and start again. It is a tedious process, but it is worth it. Um, also, don't forget that when you do use a um, elastic, the elastic that I did use is the same size as, like I kind of try to measure it so that it does fit, but there is a little bit of allowance. Um, I also think maybe you should consider using a top that is um, big and then also an elastic that's slightly thinner. If you go for a thicker elastic, then this bit over here that we've created is gonna take a lot of space up and it might end up making your skirts a little bit too short. And yeah, I've done this before and if it's too short, then really you can wear it for a few photos, but in public and just like walking around comfortably is not cute. So I really suggest that you use a an elastic that's thin as possible just so that you can save some fabric so that there's a little bit of length to your mini skirt okay so obviously now we're done what i'm going to do is i'm going to try this on and see if it fits and then i'm going to kind of block it off with another safety pin um to kind of the <laughs> the length that fits the width oh here's whiskers what's good <laughs> Okay, so as you guys can see, what I've done is I've kind of buttoned these back together. What I did was I measured around my waist to see how much elastic I actually needed to make it fit nicely. Um, and then what I did is, as you can see, I kind of put it on and then I kind of pinned down. I took the, the safety pin out and I kind of pinned the two parts together with the safety pin where I kind of thought that it would fit well. Also, kind of corresponding with the buttons so as you can see i've closed it like right by the buttons but i've also made sure that this this elastic part fits fits me um so then yeah so now we've got the skirt now for me this is okay like i want to leave it at this and this is like the simplest way to making the skirt uh when you put it together with the top part it should actually just come together but i also know that it could be that some people don't want the high low effect that the top brings because you know this was meant to be a shirt so it's obviously not going to have like that straight cut that um a usual mini skirt would have if you are more advanced and you'd like to kind of take it further uh what i'd suggest is that you use a big a really big top like this was large a men's large i think a triple xl would do the job for you because what what i what what i didn't want to do was to cut this bottom part off to make this straight because i just felt like the skirt would have been a bit too short i've tried this before and i did it the first time around and it kind of didn't work out the way i liked because like i could wear it for a picture but wearing it out would have been a bit of an issue because the skirt was so short so if you are going to if you want to go the the whole way like all the way then what I do suggest is getting a double XL top, men's double XL, and then before you start having a clean cut from kind of there at the bottom, just to get rid of this high low, and then kind of following um, the tutorial as normal. So what you guys see me doing now is just securing the elastic. I kind of want to take off the safety pin so now i'm just sewing everything together and making sure that it's secure guys i cannot stress this enough please be careful with your elastic because if you let go of it and it's not secured it will disappear all right now we are done with the skirt i'm going to put it aside and we'll take the top now that we cut earlier as you guys can see I made quite a clean cut and I did this on purpose 
I always say to you guys in my DIYs that if you use a blunt scissors, you're in for a ride. So take a sharp scissors, cut with sharp scissors, and it will make sure that sometimes you don't even have to neaten um, the whatever the project you're doing. As you guys can see, like it's, it's like I like this. I like this um, this rough vibe that's come out of this. Obviously, it's just you know I like that. So I'm keeping it this way, right? But if you're not keen on this blunt cut vibes, um, what you can do is do the same thing you did with the skirt. Give it a little bit of a fold. As you can see, I've folded it. And you take your whatever you use to kind of do your sewing with a glue or maybe like your pin and needle or even the machine and just neaten it out and kind of give that vibe. The only thing is if you make this too big, then kind of you're taking away from the length of the jacket as well. So just don't forget when you're doing this to kind of really leave allowance. Don't leave allowance. Like there's no time, there's no space unless you use a double xl um top so yeah and just like that guys we are done i'm so happy with how this came out and i know that you guys can get some of this action as well i hope you guys try it out and i hope it works out but for now i shall see you guys later don't forget to subscribe and like this video bye Oh, won't you rub your